All right, uh, I'm going to continue on with my Math 30-1 trig unit, and we're on to topic 4.2 in the textbook, uh, which is called the unit circle. So um, example one says derive the equation of a circle centered at the origin. Okay, so the idea for this here is like, so this can be any circle um, with a radius r centered at the origin. Okay, so if I draw a line from, so this is going to be some point. It doesn't have to be here. This point could actually be anywhere in the circle, and it's, it's going to be the same for it. Now, the, the idea for a circle is that this point is always going to be exactly the radius like this. Okay. Now I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw a line going down like this and like this and make a right triangle. And this is going to be x, and this is going to be y, and this is going to be r. So we have a right triangle. How do we relate the three sides of a right triangle? What's well, going to be x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is going to be the radius for any circle as well. All right, so the unit circle is the circle. Oops, the circle, not circled, centered at the origin with radius 1. Based on what we saw before, the equation of the unit circle is x squared plus y squared. It should be 1 squared, but 1 squared is just 1, so we're just going to write x squared plus y squared equals 1. <clears throat> Example 2 says determine whether or not each point is on the unit circle. So the idea is, so, so this point requires x, y. So if I plug it into this equation over here, I would get 1 half squared plus 1 half squared. Well, this should equal 1, but it's not. You're going to see in a sec. 1 half squared is a quarter plus a quarter. And this does not equal 1 because 1 quarter plus a quarter is a half, and a half does not equal 1. So therefore, um, this guy is not on unit circle. Okay, so question B, same idea, x squared, y squared equals 1. So if I go root 3 over 2 squared plus negative 1 half squared equals 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4. 3 quarters plus 1 quarters does equal 1, which does equal 1, right? So in this case, x squared plus y squared does equal 1, so that means this point is on the unit circle. 4 fifths, 1 fifth, okay? So um, same idea, I'm going to go x squared plus y squared. So we get 4 fifths squared plus 1 fifth squared equals 16 20 fifths plus 1 20 fifth, which equals 17 20 fifths. So 17 20 fifths does not equal 1. Therefore, 4 fifths 1 fifth is not on unit circle. Okay, continue going, same thing, x squared plus y squared. If x squared plus y squared equals 1, then it's on the circle. If it equals something other than 1, then it's not. Okay, so we have negative root 7 over 4 squared plus negative 3 fourths squared equals 7 over 16 plus 9 over 16, which is 16 over 16, which equals 1. Okay, so this guy equals 1, therefore point is on unit circle. So that's how that one works there. Keep on going over here, 5 eighths plus 7 eighths. Um, so we have 5 eighths squared plus 7 eighths squared is 25 sixty fourths plus 49 sixty fourths, which equals 74 sixty fourths which is not equal to 1. Okay, so therefore, this is not on circle. 1 over root 2, negative 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2. 
negative 1 over root 2 squared plus 1 over root 2 squared equals 1 half plus 1 half, which does equal 1. So this byte is on unit circle. All right, let's have a question example 2 works. Um, example 3. Uh, these points are on the unit circle, determine the missing values. So since they are, this tells us that x squared plus y squared does in fact equal 1. So we have 1 third squared plus y squared equals 1. This is 1 ninth plus y squared equals 1. This is y squared equals 1 minus 1 ninth. Now 1 minus 1 ninth is like 9 over 9 minus 1 over 9 is 8 over 9. Square root, square root, plus or minus root 8 over 3. Now root 8 is the same thing as root of 4 times 2, which is 2 root 2. So we get y equals plus or minus 2 root 2 over 3. Okay. Similar idea here. We have x squared plus negative 1 quarter squared equals 1 because it is on the unit circle. That means we have x squared plus 1 16th equals 1. Subtract 1 16th from both sides and we get 15 sixteenths square root square root x equals plus or minus root 15 and we can't simplify this guy any further over 4, okay? So they're going to be the two values for x that's going to work for example 3 here. Okay, example 4, there are three triangles that we need to memorize. So first of all, this does work, because like a squared plus b squared, 1 squared is 1, root 3 squared is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, okay, and square root of 4 does equal 2, okay. This is almost the exact same triangle, it's just oriented, it is the exact same triangle, it's just oriented in a different way. We have 1, 2, root 3, and then we have 1, 1, root 2, okay. So 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2, square root of 2 is the square root of 2, okay. Now the thing about these triangles over here, is that we have some angles that we need to court that we need to fill out with this. This angle is 60 degrees here and 30 degrees here and 90. So this is what we call like a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Similar for this guy over here. Now this is gonna be the 60 here, and this is the 30 here. Okay. For the third one, it is 45 degrees and 45 degrees like this. Okay, so these are three triangles that we're gonna use in a moment over here. Example five, fill out the unit circle. Okay, so when we fill out the unit circle, this is how we're gonna do it. We know that this point over here is one comma zero, and we know that this guy over here is zero comma one. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna draw a few other triangles, and the first triangle I'm gonna do is gonna be like this. So the triangle I'm drawing over here, this height is the same as this height from here to here. It's going to be 1. This guy is going to be root 3, and that means this length here is going to be 2. Okay, And this is for an angle of 30 degrees. Okay, So what we get over here is like, I know the coordinates of this point are going to be root 3, comma 1. But what I want is I want to figure out what are the coordinates of this point over here. Okay. Now the idea that we're going to do over here is that I know that the length from here to here is 1. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to be able to shrink this big triangle down to this small triangle over here. So if the long hypotenuse was 2 and I divide that by 2, I get 1. 
if the leg of the triangle on the bottom from here to here is root 3, if I divide this by 2, that means from here to here is going to be root 3 over 2. If the height of this triangle was 1, that means the height of this triangle is going to be 1 half. So all that this did is it gave us this point over here. It's going to have an x-coordinate of root 3 over 2, and it's going to have a y-coordinate of 1 half. And this was the point at 30 degrees. Now what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to go back to the previous slide here. And when we hit 30 degrees, which was like right here, and if you remember from the other lesson, guys, 30 degrees is the same thing as pi over 6 radians. The coordinates of this point were going to be root 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Sound good? All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to erase all this. And bear with me for a second here. But I'm going to draw my 45 degree triangle that we talked about before as well. So what's the 45 degree triangle going to look like? It's going to have from here to here a base of 1, a height of 1, and this guy's going to go like this. So this was 1, this was 1. From here, the hypotenuse of this guy was square root of 2. Now what I want is I want to get this smaller triangle so I can figure out this point here. I want to shrink this triangle like this. So if my hypotenuse was root 2, but the hypotenuse of the radius of the circle is 1, I need to go and divide all three sides by root 2. That means this guy is going to be 1 over root 2, this is going to be 1 over root 2, and this is going to be 1. Okay. Now, a little bit off the side here, remember back to math 20, if we have 1 divided by square root of 2, this skill is called rationalizing the denominator. I'm going to multiply it by root 2 over root 2, and it gives me root 2 over 2. So this guy over here is actually root 2 over 2, and this is actually root 2 over 2. Therefore, this point here has coordinates root 2 over 2, comma, root 2 over 2. Okay? I can go back to my previous one. So on this slide here, this point, which was at 45 degrees, which was at same thing as pi over 4, and we'll review the angles in a second here as well. But we got root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. All right. Okay. I know, guys, this is going to go on going along here, but we have to do the same thing for the last special triangle that we have here. So the last one we have had a base length of 1 and had a height from here to here of root 3. I think normally it's probably go a bit higher than this, but I've kind of run out of room on the screen. So that means this guy over here was my 60 degree angle. This was root 3, this was 1, and this was 2 from here to here. So again, I need to be able to shrink down this triangle so I can figure out what the coordinates of this point are. And the way I'm going to do that is my hypotenuse is 2, but I want my hypotenuse to be 1. So I'm going to divide all three sides of this by 2. That means I get a root 3 over 2 for the y value, a 1 half for the x value, and a radius of 1. That means that this point, which was at 60 degrees, has coordinates of 1 half comma root 3 over 2. Okay, and those are kind of the, the so these five points we're going to use to fill out the rest of the unit circle. Okay, all right, I'm going to show you how we do that in the next screen. It's going to allow me to clear out all this stuff again. All right, so what we had first is we're going to review the angles that we learned in our last topic. So the first one is. 
we have an angle of zero here. This angle was 180, which is the same thing as pi radians. This guy was 90 degrees, which is the same thing as pi over 2 radians.